Greetings. This is the Sloth Project. My name is Quest Legends. We're going to talk about DNA, Mr. Consistent, today. I've been watching DNA's career uh, for the past five years and in battle rap. And I got to say, nobody have been, nobody has been more consistent than DNA in in battle rap. Nobody. Now, the reason why I say this is because I have the facts. I have the evidence. And I'm going to present it in this audio clip. DNA comes with it every single battle. DNA has never choked in a battle ever. He give you three solid rounds and his material is good. His flow is consistent. He's not afraid to switch it up. He's not afraid to be creative. He gives a hundred percent and take everybody serious. Each opponent he takes serious because the bottom line is if I'm if, if I'm a battler, if I'm battling somebody and I don't take them serious, well, what the hell am I battling them for? If I don't see if I don't think they're going to be competition and they're going and they're going to give 100 percent and it's going to be a lyrical battle, then why battle them? You got to battle people that you respect. And like, you know what? Even if it's somebody that don't really have a name, like, you know what, son? I kind of saw son do this and that. I think he nice. I think he got potential. I think this could be a classic, maybe a low key classic. Let me give him a shot. And that's what DNA does. And that's why I respect DNA. He have love for the culture. and He proves that he have love for the culture. He proves DNA is battle rap. A lot of people don't like DNA. I look through a lot of comment sections of a lot of his battles, his two on twos with Kayshawn. And I see that a lot of people say he's corny, you know, this and that. He's a nerd. Uh, uh. But the man has love for the culture. He comes to the battle to rap and to battle. He has a lot of lyricism. In his material. Even when he was on Flex, I just saw his video, his video on Flex, his freestyle. It was dope and it was on beat. A lot of battle rappers can't really rap on beat. But as you can see, DNA is not one of them. DNA did his thing on Flex. I mean, the way he was, his syllable game, the way he was dropping his wordplay on beat, it was fire. But I'm not knocking nobody. If you ain't feeling them, cool. That's fine. But one thing you can't say is, is that he don't put in work. He when it comes to this battle rap culture, the man puts in work. That's the bottom line. People may feel like, oh, he need to sit down. You know, what I'm saying he need to. He. Yeah, we, I, I feel the same way, too. At certain times, like he need to. He ain't got to take so many battles. But I mean, if that's what he want to do, then do it. You know what I'm saying? People tired of seeing him. You know what I mean? If that's what he want to do, if he want to keep battling. But I, I see it different. The man has so much love for the culture. He can't sit down. He got to be active. And I respect that. And I, I feel, I, I'm feeling him with that. And people have to respect this about him. The man never plays. The man always, he never choked. He stumbled. He may stumble here and there, but he never choke. He always give his opponent a hundred percent. He's always willing to put on a good performance. Everybody know that about DNA. Everybody know that about DNA. And I respect him, and I call him Mr. Consistent. He is the most consistent battle rapper alive. He is number one when it comes to being most consistent battling. He battled more than Tay Rock. He battles. He's a, and, and I consider him a top tier. Other people may not. Other people may consider him a mid tier or whatever. I consider him a top tier in my book. Because he puts in a lot of work. He'll take a battle. A newcomer may come and, and they may be hot. He'll be like, you know what? 
Let me give him a shot. Let me give him a shot. Let's do it. Because I got love for this culture. You know, I know a lot of people don't like NWX. You know what I'm saying? They don't like that whole group, period, for whatever reason. But him and K-Shine is dope together, too. They have that chemistry. And you see it when they on stage. That's why they made that. When you think about two on twos, automatically you think about K-Shine and DNA. Because they really made it popular in the battle rap world. So I just had to um, speak on DNA. I saw his uh, his video, his freestyle on Flex uh, a couple hours ago, and it was fire. You know what I'm saying? It was it was really fire. I think his video with um you know what he did to the mob beat mob, mob deep beat was all right, but you know I, I really like what he did on Flex. You know what I'm saying? I want to speak on him being the most consistent. All right, my name Quest Legends. I'm out.